It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Swanee Brewery and it's a bottle of their Old Norway Orcadian Barley Wine coming in at 8% ABV. 330 bottle. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us from imperialbeerclub.com. Imperial Beer Club, a fantastic company where you pay £42 and you get 10 Imperial Strength beers like this sent to you at the end of every month or the beginning of every month, whether it's the end or the beginning, doesn't really matter. You get it once a month and it's like Christmas every month. You just don't know what's coming at the end of every month. Or I'm going to say every month. <laughs> you don't know what's coming. Nice and exciting. 10 craft beers. Imperial strength. £42 a month. Check the link in the description box of the video. For the chance to go and have a look at their website. Uh, beer in the glass then. Nicely carbonated beer. Golden in colour. This is so, Do you know what? It's a slight haze, but it's quite clear. You know, with a one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. And I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Barley wines are the most underrated, under under talked about beer style in the world I think because I just I just think it's the name of the style barley wine somebody's not really into beer is gonna get confused somebody who is into beer it's a style that, that the name really doesn't roll off the tongue very well but, and this is a big but, generally if you get a good one, and this smells really good by the way, and you taste it and you get into it, it can be just as good as many other styles of beer out there. So what do you get in the aroma? A nice hoppy character. Look at that lovely creamy dense head there. It's lemony, there's a little bit of kind of lime in it and orange. And then lots and lots of sweet biscuit malt. Let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Ooh! Oh! Right, I was about to say And it's the same experience on the second taste, I just wanted to make sure this beer is incredibly sweet. Incredibly sweet. It's one of the sweetest beers I've had on the channel. But then again, as you, as you begin to breathe and talk about just how sweet this beer is, wallop! There comes the big hot bitterness on the back end. And it serves as balance. You've got your sweetness out here, you've got your bitterness out here, and it's like the trapeze artist. It's just rocking back and forth nicely. And it just gives you that, it gives you that sense of quality when you're drinking the beer. If this was just sweet, if, I think if you decided to age this beer, it may not be the best beer to age because I think the hops would 
drop back on the on the bitter end and it would become a sweet mess if I'm perfectly honest but fresh as we have it here fresh is of course best it's it's balancing that it's quite a big level of sweetness I'm not gonna make no bones about it it really is quite a sweet beer but at the same time it's quite a bitter beer at the same in the same breath and and yeah the also the mouthfeel is big and thick and dense and quite lovely a little bit of grapefruit a little bit of lemon lots of sweetness and then biscuitiness and breadiness and then bitterness on the back end I think I think I'm gonna let the beer do the talking here I think I'm just gonna hold this up uh, look at the lacing on the glass look at that quality head I've not really done too much to shake that head up let me show you without tipping beer all over the place it's a lovely thick creamy dense head and that represents basically the liquid in the glass look at that look at the you can see the how thick and dense that liquid is the carbonation makes it less thick and dense in the mouth but it's a good quality beer there's a lot of there's a lot of raw materials got into that beer to make it an 8% barley wine and you can see it in the in the beer but I don't think it's their best beer I've had some wonderful beers from the Swanee Brewery I really have I've had some really really good beers but this one I think if I seen it in the shop I may give it a miss and and it's only because of the complete breadth depth breadth of craft beer we have at the moment that I think it might just need tweaking here and there. Maybe I'll lower the sweetness a little bit. Maybe add some, I can't say American hops because I think it would just turn it into a double IPA. How light the beer is to look at. So rating, I think I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a seven out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.